On the left is day one when I hung the banana. On the right is day three and it's swarming with butterflies. But it's not as simple as just hanging up a banana and the butterflies swarm in. So in this video I'll show you exactly how I did it so you can have the same success. Now I'll show you how I made the hanger. I'm using baling wire because it bends very easily and holds its shape once it's bent into shape. I start by just wrapping the wire around this old rusty pair of pliers that I'm intentionally letting rust for another video. Then once I get it started I remove the pliers and continue that same motion while holding it flat with one hand I twist it and form a constantly enlarging circle. When working with any wire it's also important to wear safety goggles. I continue this motion till I have about six or seven rings. When you're finished it should look something like this. Then reinsert the pliers where they were at the beginning and slowly pull out just like I'm doing here. This will create a small bowl for the bottom of the banana to rest in. Then with your banana put the bottom of the banana in this bowl that you've just created with the wire and then begin to wrap the wire around the banana continuing until you get to the very top. Once you're finished it should look something like this with a small hook on the end to hang it with. If you just hang up your banana without doing anything else it probably won't get very many butterflies for quite a while. So let me show you how we got butterflies so quickly. When we eat watermelon we throw the rinds out on our compost pile and I noticed that the butterflies like to eat the watermelon rinds. So I started experimenting by putting different types of melon inside a suet cage to feed the butterflies. Next I tried putting bananas in this suet cage and as you can see it seems like they prefer the bananas over the melon. Next I hung our banana next to the suet cages and after a couple of hours there were no butterflies on the banana. So I tried something else. I removed just one small strip of the banana peeling and left it for a few more hours. That did the trick and we finally had some butterflies on it. Then the next day there were even more butterflies. Then on day three the banana was swarming with butterflies and there were so many butterflies that when a new butterfly came in to land it had to land on other butterflies. In the days to follow I even experimented by removing multiple strips of banana peel but it seemed like removing just one strip worked better than removing several. Overall this worked pretty well and it was a little late in the summer by the time I figured all of this out so next year I plan to do the same thing a little earlier. If you've ever tried to feed butterflies let us know about it down in the comments and if you're just now finding this channel please subscribe. We'll see you next time.